Good morning, students, and welcome to today's episode of Dozeri, brought to you by me, Mr. Cogswell. For today's episode, we're going to focus on Engage New York Math, 6th grade, Module 2, Lesson 15. Let's go ahead and review our learning targets. So, our learning targets are quite beefy today. Our first learning target is I will be able to divide multi-digit numbers to solve for quotients of multi-digit decimals. Woo, that's a mouthful. I'm going to have to go back and reread that to understand it. So I know I'm working with division because I see the word divide. I'm going to divide multi-digit, okay, multi-digit numbers. Got that. Numbers that are have more than one digit. And I'm going to solve for quotient. So I'm going to divide multi-digit numbers to solve for quotient of multi-digit decimals. So I think the quotient is also going to be a multi-digit number, but it's going to have a decimal. So I'm going to if divide multi-digit numbers, and the quotient, or the answer, is going to be a multi-digit decimal. All right, good. I think I understand that after rereading it. Now, my second learning target is I will understand how powers of 10, that's when we multiply and divide by 10, change decimal place value. So again, the powers of 10 is when we multiply and divide numbers by 10, and how that affects decimal place value. So let's go ahead and look at the problem, a problem, and let's go ahead and look at the quotient of 1,728, and we're going to go ahead and divide that by 32. So again, the dividend is 1,728, which is in blue, and the divisor in red is 32. So when I divide, I can see that after showing my work, the quotient is 54. Now, I'd like to do a little math experimentation. I wonder what's going to happen if I take the same problem and I take the divisor and I increase it by a power of 10, multiply it by 10, then I get right here a new divisor which is 320. So I'm just experimenting here. So when I take my new problem with a dividend of 1720 and a divisor by, of 320, let's see what happens to the problem. I can see that it looks very similar, except that my new quotient has decreased. My new quotient is 5 and 4 tenths. So checking out, let's go ahead and evaluate what happened. Here I have my original problem with a quotient of 54. When I increased my divisor by a power of 10, I got a new quotient that was decreased by a power of 10. Hmm. So my old quotient was 54, my new quotient decreased by a power of 10 is 5 and 4 tenths. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what's happening here. I wonder how we can generalize this pattern. Well, let's take the same problem, and now let's multiply the dividend by the power of 10, making it 10 times bigger. And let's see with our original divisor what happens to our problem. So we're going to take 1,000 excuse me, 17,028 divided by 32. And we notice, hmm, interesting. I see a very similar, again, pattern here. However, I can see the quotient seems to be a little bigger. So let's see, here's my original problem. And I got 54 for my original quotient. Then I increased the divisor by 10. And the quotient decreased by a power of 10. When I took my original problem and I increased the dividend by a power of 10, it seems to me that my quotient increased by a power of 10. So again, here, it decreased, the quotient decreased by a power of 10. Here, it increased by a power of 10. Very interesting, and I can see how here again in the first problem, I can see that the divisor was increased. In the second problem, I can see that the dividend was increased. Now, I want to do one more experiment when I take the original problem and instead of multiplying just the divisor or just the dividend, here I'm going to multiply both the dividend and the divisor of by the power of 10, which is going to give me the new here, the new dividend is going to be here, the new divisor is going to be here. So what happens when I increase both of them by the power of 10? Let's see here, okay? I can see, hmm, that number looks vaguely familiar. 
I think I need to compare all of my quotients. So my first quotient was 54. My second quotient, when I increased the divisor, the quotient decreased to 5 and 4 tenths. When I took the original problem and I increased the dividend, my quotient increased to 540. But when I increased both the dividend and the divisor by the power of 10, both of them by the power of 10, I have my original answer of 54. Hmm, interesting. So here's my driving question for you. My driving question is, how does the power of 10 affect multi-digit division? Taking what we learned in this video, we need to see how those power of 10 affect multi-digit division. All right, so let's go and see what happens. Let's do it.